Hey guys, Butterflies here with another fireside session, and today we'll be reading Sanity for Joy by Toolcrafter Kyle. Nisivin was afraid. They were gone. Everyone, all gone, by his hand. He looked to his left and saw the burned corpse of a familiar old man, his beard all ash, his skin seared in the blood crisp. He glanced to his right and sighed as he realized who it was. The Holy Grail. Roman was face down. He was oozing blood from various wounds which seeped into his red clothing. And lastly, the prince laying in front of him. It was a pitiful sight to see a proud prince staring directly at Nisivin with cold, lifeless eyes. Spinster was killed from a neat pierce to the heart with a royal dagger the prince once used. Nisivin sat there mortified at what he had done, but deep down, he felt an out-of-place emotion. Joy. Nisivin enjoyed what he had did, and he wanted more of this new wonderful feeling. He craved it. The fresh blood, the trust broken. He decided his next target would be Lord Justin. Justin was reading the news from his peasants when he heard a distinct voice from outside. He thought it would be a peasant yelling at him about how they wished to be a squire, but he checked regardless. He saw a single being standing and corpses on the ground accompanied by the gnome's maniacal laughter. Nisivin proceeded forward, while Justin backed away in shock. Nisivin proceeded to lift his wand to begin a spell, while Justin proceeded forward and struck the gnome, knocking him out. Nisivin awoke in a small cell, one with white walls and a simple bed. He was brought up by two men standing there, and brought to a large official building. It was a court. Many people were standing inside, and Nisivin was placed in a seat. The trial was proceeding, but Nisivin had other things on his mind. What happened after I met with Justin? He wondered to himself. Suddenly, the judge presiding the trial made one statement. Guilty! His punishment was fitting for someone of that caliber. Death row. He was brought through a dimly lit hallway and thrown into a new cell. This one supplied the bare necessities and it seemed like the last person to use this was recently moved. One of the guards left and the other stayed to see how the new member reacted. But then, Nisivin felt that stray emotion spring up. Joy! His heart began to race at the thought of fresh blood. Nisivin grabbed the nearest object, a hardcover book, and proceeded to attack the officer in the head. He kept attacking the man until he fell, his pulse slowing. Nisivin began to feel the wound until he felt it. The fresh blood felt it. Such a warm and sweet feeling. The emotion of joy pounding away, he began tearing at the wound until more blood oozed out. He loved it until he was interrupted. The sound, of the, the sound of doors opening startled him, and dozens of guards rushed in, seized the gnome. The greater part of our happiness or misery depends on our dispositions and not our circumstances. No, this book was created as a fiction slash horror and it was not meant to insult the great lords at all.